So the first thing we are going to do right now is to set up our project. So I'm going to click on create new project and I'm going to allow it as a Spring Assistant. Everything should be default at this point. Java should be 1.8 and I'm going to be using Spring Initializer options. So um, the group ID is going to be com.kindtonthegenius. So you can actually use exactly the same thing I use, or you can actually use uh, uh, what you you can actually change it to use any other thing you like. But I recommend you stick with me so that you don't uh, run into any problem. Let's call it ecom demo. Ecom demo, that's what we call it, and uh, we leave everything the way it is. And let's call the project name to be the same ecom demo. And the package name is going to be com.kinton the genius dot ecom demo. Okay, so so demo is, is going to be it's going to be demo demo pro, uh, demo project fags and framework. Okay, so checking that everything is, is is okay, we are going to move to the next uh, section. So at this point, you need to uh, add a number of things. The first thing you want to add is uh, let's add web. So I'm going to add Spring Web right here, and I'm also going to add uh, Lombok. So Lombok would act, would actually make uh, writing of our codes a bit easier. Um, I'm also going to be adding um, jQuery, so maybe we can do some user interface things. Okay, jQuery is not here, so let me leave it out for now. We are going to be adding any other things we don't add now. We are going to be adding it a little later on. Okay, again, Axon, Axon framework does not is not right here in this uh, in this list, so we can add it at this time. We are going to be also using H2 database. Uh, to store our 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 models, and I think this should be fine. Except that I need to also add timely for template management, so we can actually serve out serve HTML page as you can see uh, right here because this is an end-to-end -end application. Um, so I will actually I will actually go next at this point, and hopefully everything is fine. And I'm going to click on finish. All right. So we are not done yet. Uh, there are a number of things we also need to add. Now I talked about we need to add Axon Framework and Axon Framework. We are going to be using Axon Framework version 4.3. So let's see. All right. So let's try to open the pom.xml file and let's see uh, if we can add additional dependencies. Of course, we can add more dependencies. So right now I'm going to add Axon Framework. So the, the version of Axon Framework I'm going to be adding will be 4.3. That is the latest version as of the time of this video. So I'm going to add Axon version uh, 4.3, right? And I'm going to be adding the Axon Framework dependency. So I'm going to just go to the dependencies section right here. I'm going to add it as it. Uh, instead of typing it out, I'm going to simply copy it from my clipboard and I'm going to just paste it right there. So let me see. So this is the dependency. I'm going to just paste it right here. So uh, let's do a little clean up here. Take out these as well. Okay, so let's shift this a little bit. So you can see that the artifact ID is Axon Spring Boot Starter, and that is fine. So we're also going to be using Bit of Kotlin, 
I can't remember if I added JPA because we're also going to be using JPA so if I did not remember to add it I'm also going to get it from my clipboard as well and add it uh, right there so the complete uh, pom.xml you can get it right from my repository you can also find the link in my in the in the in the clipboard just in the in the description description box just below this video so this is JPA and that is fine I think we should be good to go another thing that I'm going to also talk about is Kotlin we are going to be using Kotlin so but this we are going to be adding automatically once we create the Kotlin file at this point basically we have the, all the dependencies we need if you look at this place you can see that we have two uh, entities we need two entities the product and the order so we have the order we have the product these are only the only two entities we need but before then let us just set up all the packages uh, required for this project so there is, there is going to be uh, I think about five packages so these packages correspond to different aspects or different uh, sections of these applications so the first package of course I didn't specify all the names of this package right here but the first one I'm going to call it the API so if I go to src main src main java and right here in this package in the base package I'm going to be adding sub packages so the first package I'm going to be adding I'm going to call it API so this package is going to contain the events and the commands so let me just add it so we have the API I also need another package that is going to contain uh, the read model and also let's see package so I'm going to call this the read the read model read underscore model already you know by now that in CQRS approach to building applications you need to have two different models the read model and the write model so basically they are almost the same thing except that for the write model handles commands the read model handles query but both of them are actually synchronized so this is going to be the write model and this is fine um, we also need another package and this I'm going to call it query package so the query package is going to contain the queries for getting a list of products or a list of orders so let me just create it a uh, package I'm going to call it query and the final package we need is a package you already know and that is a controllers package and um, controllers package will be in charge of uh, it will contain all the controllers that's are required for this application so I'm going to call it controllers in plural in plural plural okay so uh, I'm going to say okay so at this point we basically have set up the structure of the application so once you are building a CQRS based application this is the structure of the application once you come to this point we are actually complete we've completed the setup of this application so in the nice part we are now going to set up the read models and the write models i'd like to thank you for viewing please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and if you have any challenges please let me know by leaving a comment box a comment below